together again today. Let's go ahead and do our breathing exercise to get ready for um, sitting for a little while and just to get our bodies nice and grounded and centered. So go ahead and put your hand up. We're going to do hand breathing today and I will get my index finger ready to trace my hand. When we do hand breathing, we breathe in through our nose as we go up our finger and as we go down, we let our air out through our mouth. So let's do that together. Ready? Breathe in. And let it out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. ready. How about you? All right, let's sing our months of the year song. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Friends, today is Tuesday, May 5th. 2020. Or in Espanol, hoy es martes 5 de mayo. 5 de mayo. It's the 5th of May. So that means there have been five days in May. Can we count to five in Spanish? Have you ever done that? Well, listen first if you haven't, and then we can do it again. Ready? Uno. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. That is how to count to five in Espanol. Would you like to do it with me? Okay, ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Yeah, it's the 5th of May. Well, let's sing our Days of the Week song, and when we get to Tuesday, we'll put our hands up. Okay, ready? Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, well, here in Black Mountain, it's a little bit of a rainy day today. We get kind of a lot of rain in Black Mountain. It rains pretty frequently here, but there are places that do not get very much rain. It rains only every now and then in some places. And I thought it might be nice to share a book with you today about um, a little girl that's living in a place that has not gotten very much rain in quite a while. I thought this book was interesting because I was thinking about how I feel after many days of rain. After it's rained for many days, I feel, I start to feel like, oh, when am I ever going to get a sunny day? When will I be able to go outside and feel the sunshine? Do you ever feel like that after it's rained many days? Well, this is a story about how this little girl feels when it has not rained for many days, when it has just been 
hot with lots of sunshine. And I, um, I enjoy this different perspective. So I'm going to come up closer so you can see the pictures in this book. I think you're going to enjoy it. This book is called Come On Rain. It's written by Karen Hess and the pictures are by John J. Muth. Did you hear how I said the title of this story? I said, come on rain. Did you hear that? That's because at the end of this sentence, there is a punctuation mark. That's an exclamation point. And that exclamation point gives me a clue as to how I should say this sentence. Instead of saying, come on rain, normally I say, come on rain, because I saw that exclamation point. Told me how to say it. Right. Look, that's the character that's going to be in our story. Do you see what she's holding? She's holding an umbrella. I see that umbrella has a handle and it has a canopy. If you look closely, you can even see the umbrella's ribs and stretchers. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. All right. I will start reading the story. Come on, rain, I say, squinting into the endless heat. Mama lifts a listless vine and sighs. Three weeks and not a drop, she says, sagging over her parched plants. The sound of a heavy truck rumbles past. Uneasy, Mama looks over to me. Is that thunder? Tessie, she asks. Mama hates thunder. I climb up the steps for a better look. It's just a truck, Mama, I say. I am sizzling like a hot potato. I ask Mama, may I put on my bathing suit? Absolutely not, Mama says, frowning under her straw hat. You'll burn all day out in this sun. Up and down the block, can't, cats pant. Heat wavers off tar patches in the broiling alleyway. Ms. Grays and Miss Vera bend, tending beds of drooping lupines. Not a sign of my friends, Liz or Rosemary. Not a peep from my pal, Jackie Joyce. I stare out over rooftops, past chimneys, into the way off distance. And that's when I see it coming. Clouds rolling in, gray clouds bunched and bulging under a purple sky. A creeper of hope circles round my bones. Come on, rain, I whisper. Look, she's standing on her balcony. Looks like it's way up high. She's all the way up with the tops of the buildings. She must live in a city. There's lots of buildings around her. Quietly, while Mama weeds, I cross the crackling dry path past Miss Glick's window. Glancing inside as I hurry by, Ms. Glick's needle sticks on her phonograph, playing the same notes over and over in the dim, stuffy cave of her room. The smell of hot tar and garbage bullies the air as I climb the steps to Jackie Joyce's porch. Jackie Joyce, I breathe, pressing my nose against her screen. Jackie Joyce comes to the door, her long legs like two brown string beans sprout from her shorts. It's going to rain, I whisper. Put on your suit and come straight over. Slick with sweat, I run back home and slip up the steps past Mama. She is nearly senseless in the sizzling heat, 
kneeling over the hot rump of a melon. Mm, she sounds like she's working hard in her garden, huh? In the kitchen, I pour iced tea to the top of a tall glass. I, am, I aim a spoonful of sugar into my mouth, then a second into the drink. Got you some tea, Mama, I say, pulling her inside the house. Mama sinks onto a kitchen chair and sweeps off her hat. Sweat trickles down her neck and wets the front of her dress and under her arms. Mama presses the ice-chilled glass against her skin. Aren't you something, Tessie, she says. I nod smartly. Rain's coming, Mama, I say. Mama turns to the window and sniffs. It's about time, she murmurs. How do you think Tessie is feeling about the rain? Jackie Joyce in her bathing suit knocks at the door and I let her in. Jackie Joyce has her suit on, Mama, I say. May I wear mine too? Holding my breath, waiting. A breeze, breeze blows the thin curtains into the kitchen, then sucks them back against the screen again. Is there thunder, Mama asks. No thunder, I say. Is there lightning, Mama asks. No lightning, Jackie Joyce says. You stay where I can find you, Mama says. We will, I say. Go on then, Mama says, lifting the glass to her lips to take a sip. Come on, rain, I cheer, peeling out of my clothes and into my suit while Jackie Joyce runs to get Liz and Rosemary. They're putting on special kind of suit. What kind of suit do you see Jackie Joyce wearing? Looks like a bathing suit, doesn't it? Why do you think they're putting on bathing suits? Mm. We meet in the alleyway. All the insects have gone still. Trees sway under, under a swollen sky. The wind grows bold and bolder. And just like that, rain comes. I love this picture. Look at their hands reaching up towards the sky. The first drops plop down big, making dust dance all around us. There's their feet on the dusty ground. Do you see some raindrops coming down? Then a deeper gray descends and the air cools and the clouds burst. And suddenly rain is everywhere. Come on rain, we shout. It streams through our hair and down our backs. It freckles our feet, glazes our toes. We turn in circles glistening in our rain skin. Our mouths open wide, we gulp down rain. How are they feeling now? They look joyful, don't they? Have you ever danced in the rain like that? Do you have an idea of why they're wearing their bathing suits now? They're getting wet from the rain. Jackie Joyce chases Rosemary, who chases Liz, who chases me. We wet, slicking our arms and legs. We splash up the block, squealing and whooping in the streaming rain. <laughs> that looks like fun. We make such a racket, Ms. Glick rushes out on her porch. Ms. Grace and Ms. Vera come next, and then comes Mama. They run from their kitchens and skid to a stop. Leaning over their rails, they turn to each other. 
a smile spreads from porch to porch, and with a wordless nod, first one, then all. Fling off their shoes, skim off their hose, tossing streamers of stockings over their shoulders. Our bare-legged mamas dance down the steps and join us in the fresh, clean rain. While the music from Ms. Glick's phonograph shimmies and sparkles and streaks like night lightning. Jackie Joyce, Liz, Rosemary, and I, we grab the hands of our mamas. We twirl and sway them, tromping through puddles, romping and reeling in the moisty green air. We swing our wet and wild-haired mamas till we are all laughing under trinkets of silver rain. I hug mama hard and she hugs me back. The rain has made us new. As the clouds move off, I trace the drips on mama's face. Everywhere, everyone, everything is misty limbs springing back to life. We sure did get a soaking, mama, I say. And we head home, purely soothed, fresh as dew, turning toward the first sweet rays of the sun. And how did that book make you feel about the rain? I felt excited about the rain. Yeah, I think that's the way the child in the story was feeling too. What about all the mamas? How do you think they were feeling? Yeah, I think they were happy about the rain too. I really like that one. Um, would you like to move your body now? Okay, we are going to stand up together and we are going to play a memory movement game that I think you will enjoy. So let's go ahead and stand up. Okay, are you ready to play a memory movement game? I will tell you what to do and you have to remember and do it, okay? All right, let's see. Can you clap? then stomp, then jump. Clap, stomp, jump. Ready? Okay. I'm not going to do it with you yet. I want to see if you remember. Ready? Go. Did you clap, stomp, and jump? Okay, let's do it together. Ready? combination. Hmm, let's see. Can you pat and hop and twirl? Let's see if you can do it. Pat, hop, twirl. Ready? Go. Did you pat, hop, and twirl? Let's try it together. Ready? Pat, hop, twirl. <laughs> oh, I liked that one too. Hmm. Should we do one more? Okay. Can you um, jump, stomp, and clap? Hmm. Can you jump, stomp? and clap. Let's try it. Ready? Or I'm going to let you try it by yourself. Ready? Go! Did you jump, stomp, and clap? Okay, let's try it together. Ready? Jump, stomp, clap. <laughs> All right, friends. That was a nice, quick memory movement game. Let's go ahead and sit down together because today 
I am going to teach you the words to the song that I sang for you yesterday called Robin on a Rainy Day. Let's sit down together and we can learn those words. Are you sitting down now? Okay, I am going to teach you this song that I sang to you yesterday called Robin on a Rainy Day. It's a song by Raffi, one of my favorites. So when I teach you this song, I will sing part of it by myself when I do this so you can hear what it sounds like. And then when I do this, we will sing it together, okay? All right, the first part goes like this. Robin in the rain, what a saucy fellow. I like that line, what a saucy fellow. Ready? Let's sing it together. Robin in the rain, what a saucy fellow. Okay. Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. Do you think their Robin is really wearing yellow socks? I think the song is talking about the Robin's yellow feet. Yeah, let's sing that together. Ready? Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. Okay. Running in the garden on your nimble feet. Ready? Running in the garden on your nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. Ready? Digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Ready? Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Showers always make you gay. Ready? Showers always make you gay. All right. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home. Why do you think the worms are wishing the robin would stay at home? I think the worms are the robin's dinner. <laughs> Ready? Let's sing that together. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home. Robin, on a rainy day, don't get your feet wet. Robin, on a rainy day. All right, let's sing the last part. Ready? Robin, on a rainy day, don't get your feet wet. Robin, on a rainy day. Let's sing it all together. Ready? Robin in the rain, what a saucy fellow. Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. Running in the garden on your nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. Robin in rain. You don't mind the weather. Showers always make you gay. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home. Robin on a rainy day, don't get your feet wet. Robin on friends. I'm excited to see you again tomorrow on Wednesday and now I will say goodbye. Adios amigos, adios, adios.